Hello everyone. This is the first practical lesson on expert curve modeling add-in. Let's not make it too complicated. The add-in is large and very interesting. We will master it gradually. Let's model this object. First, don't forget to enable the add-ins activation button. If you haven't checked out the video instructions yet, it's important for you to know that the add-in has different modes of operation. You have model mode, it shows the finished model, segment mode, you get control over the segments, it's similar to face mode. In curve mode, you can select and modify curves. You also have vertex mode. Each mode has its own functions, and I will switch between them during work using these hotkeys. Now we're ready to get to work. Add a bushing object. Let's shrink our object. Let's move the 3D cursor and add another one. Turn one of them on its side. I went into segment mode and deleted one segment on each object. I highlighted two curves and pressed F, that's fill curve. Next, I select three curves at a time and continue closing. To close with the last segment, four curves must be selected. Let's take a look at the grid. I think you've noticed that there's a lot of mesh in these areas, so let's minimize it. I select multiple segments of the same plane and switch to manual control of one of the rib directions. Don't forget that when you change on several segments, the resolution should be changed with Alt pressed. Deleted another segment. Deleting segments is the X key as usual. Let's add a torus. I'll shrink it down and remove the segment. Let's join him. If you get a twist, press reverse. Let's go into model mode and see what we've got. If you want to resize something, you select the desired part, go to the selection menu, and click select point. Then you can move it around and shrink it. After these actions in edit mode, return to the object mode and use update origin to display the coordinate origin correctly. If the object is large, select the necessary part in the segments and curves mode. The topology is very well constructed. Let's start changing the mold. Select handles from the selection menu and we can move and reshape it. I think this part of the model is too sad. Let's change it too. I think it's more interesting this way. One of the pluses is the ability to control the entire resolution. We've applied duplication. Don't freak out if you don't have smooth normals. Just add the subdivision modifier. It still looks too plain in my opinion. Let's give it more curves.
So you can see more, I'm gonna do another shape in here. There are many more features that I haven't shown in practice. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, please support it with a like or comment. See you in the next video.